Hello everyone. In this session, we want to take a look at the virtual fiber channel feature in Windows Server 2012 or 2. Now, we have some physical servers here and the physical servers are able to connect directly to the storage area network using the virtual fiber channel feature. However, these candidates previously were not good candidates for virtualization. However, in Hyper-V 3.0, Microsoft now has a new virtual fiber channel feature. And this new virtual fiber channel feature solves this problem by making it possible to link a virtual machine directly to a storage area storage network. But there are some requirements that have to be fulfilled before a VM can be linked to a storage area network. First, the virtual machine must be running on Hyper-V 3.0. The guest operating system must run Windows Server 2008 or higher. The host server has to be equipped with a host bus adapter that supports N port ID virtualization and the NPIV feature must be enabled on the host machine. There are two steps in setting up the virtual fiber channel. First, you have to create the storage area network. And second, you must establish fiber connectivity to the storage area network. We're going to take a look to see how we would go about setting up the storage area network and then establishing the fiber connectivity to the storage area network. We're going to click on Tools, Hyper-V Manager. We're going to right click on the host, Server 1. And we're going to select Virtual Storage Area Network Manager. You can see here we have Virtual Fiber Channel SANS. And we're going to create a new fiber channel. So in the right hand pane, we want to click on Create. And we want to type the name of the new fiber channel. And we're going to call that name Class FC. So we're going to type Class FC and press Enter. And then we want to click on Apply and then click on OK. Now we want to go to the VM itself to establish fiber connectivity to the storage area network. So we right click on the VM, click on settings, and under add hardware, we need to click on the fiber channel adapter in the right hand pane. and we click on add. Before we click on add, let's notice the description. You can use a virtual fiber channel adapter to access fiber channel based storage directly from the virtual machine. Remember that in Hyper-V 2.0, we were not able to connect the VM 
directly to a storage area network. But now, with the new virtual fiber channel feature in Hyper-V 3.0, we're now able to do this. So we go ahead and click on Add. Then on the virtual SAN, on the right hand pane, you want to click the down arrow and you want to choose the virtual SAN that you created, which was class FC. So we're going to click on that. Then we want to click on apply and OK. And we have done two things created the storage area network and to establish fiber connectivity to the storage area network using the virtual machine. That is the end of our session and I want to thank you for listening.